All right, now let's take a look at the Indonesian stock market. Today on Wednesday, the Indonesian Compass Index, or IDX, rose by 0.3%. And now for the full report and analysis, let's turn to Jessica Wulandari, who is reporting from the Indonesian Stock Exchange building. Jakarta Composite Index closed 0.34% higher as inflation rate declined to 5.28% in January of 2023 from December's of 5.51%, the lowest level since August last year, and below market consensus of 5.4%. Still, the inflation rate was above the upper limit of the central bank's 2 until 4% target for the 8th straight month, while the core inflation rate, which excludes government control price and volatile food prices, is to 3.27%, down from 3.36% in December, and compare with a 3.33% forecast. January's inflation was driven by prices of some food products, airfares, and higher cigarette prices. And the other sentiment was the Federal Reserve is expected to raise interest rates by a quarter point, but also likely signal it will stay cautious in its fight against inflation, even as it reduced the size of the hikes. Investors will be attuned to any comments from Jerome Powell makes about the economy and whether he expects it to dip into recession as many economists forecast. The central bank has not projected a recession in its forecast, but it expects a very sluggish flat growth. And those two sentiments made rupiah hike 0.03% to 14,908, while spot gold was down 0.13%. Meanwhile, WTI crude oil price increased 0.27%, and Brent rose 0.14%. Now let's take a look to the top losers and top gainers of the day. The top losers of the day were Pancha Anugrah Wisesa, MD Pictures, and Jaya Swarsa Agong. While the top gainers of the day were Surya Semesta Internusa, Personal Alih Daya, and Kabolindo Murni. And tomorrow, index predicted in the range of 6,778 until 6,935, and Rupiah will be in the range of 14,970 until 15,100. I am Jessica, reporting for MGN.